Uh, in this and the next slide, we look at a couple of examples uh, involving structures. So we have looked at this uh, square truss earlier. Uh, in this lecture, um, there are six elements, and uh, we concluded that this is one degree statically indeterminate. So uh, it, uh, it would be logical to say that uh, any two members uh, would constitute a minimal cut set of this uh, truss structure. And so here they are. Um, we select uh, two out of six. So there are 15 uh, as such uh, combinations. Uh, so each of these is a minimal uh, cut set for this uh, truss structure. We could draw uh, the reliability block diagram uh, equivalently involving uh, these cut sets, these minimal cut sets, and they would be, uh, they would look like this. Earlier we uh, showed the RBD involving uh, the five out of six approach. Now we have uh, the RBD uh, coming out of the minimal path set consideration. Uh, so uh, this uh, leads into our next problem, and that is uh, an additional few truss members around this uh, square truss with two diagonals. So uh, this problem is taken from uh, Ditlevson and Madsen's book. Uh, so uh, you see the truss. Uh, it's quite similar to what we had before, except that uh, there are uh, four additional truss members uh, built around the uh, square truss that we had in the previous uh, slide. So uh, there uh, would be, uh, we need to find out uh, how the, the structure fails or how the structure becomes unstable. So obviously we have looked at the, uh, we have looked at the square part of it before, uh, which involves members four, five, six, three, one, and two. So one, two, three, four, five, six uh, is that substructure which we have already looked at. Uh, now we have four additional elements, uh, seven, nine, 10, and eight, and uh, we need to find out the minimal uh, cut sets. So uh, there are six determinate configurations that come out of this. Uh, and um, so you can see that uh, it only involves elements from the square substructure. Uh, the, no such uh, determinate structure uh, is created by removing any of the four new elements, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So uh, let's identify uh, the minimal cut sets. So obviously seven, eight, nine, and 10 each would be a minimal cut set because if they fail, then the structure becomes unstable, the, the whole structure. Uh, so seven, nine, 10, and eight, these are the four uh, minimal cut sets by themselves. And then we have uh, all the 15 uh, that we had before in the previous slide. So one has to be careful when identifying uh, minimal cut sets for a structural system, uh, one has to be careful that uh, no unnecessary simplification or uh, unnecessary uh, pattern is, uh, is used when none exists.